Hey friends, it's Megan Elizabeth from AboveRubyStudio.com and you know what? Things have been crazy and I'm just going to go ahead and get right to the point and say, I'm sorry. I really, really, really had every, every, every intention of coming at you guys back at full steam all over a month and a half ago. And I haven't. I haven't. It's been crazy. I never thought um, having the newborn and having the kids home from school and all the different things would hit me as hard as it has this particular year. So. I'm not going to really apologize for my life because it is what it is from that standpoint, but I'm sorry for not getting to you guys sooner. So what I've decided to do is go ahead and come at you guys real life. I actually started a second channel to start coming at you just like this. This is me on an everyday basis. T-shirt and hair kind of curly and down and this is actually fresh out of the shower. I do do a little bit of makeup but not a ton and I'm going to come at you guys real life a little bit more often than I have been. Um, I have a tutorial for you guys from f before Father's Day. I actually totally screwed up my Father's Day dates. I thought Father's Day was June like 22nd. Turns out it was the 18th. I messed that up big time. I actually ended up going emergency trip back to Pennsylvania. Not emergency, but unplanned trip back to Pennsylvania um, to see my grandmother and a few other things that came up. And ended up getting to spend Father's Day with my dad, which was awesome, but I totally just blank screwed up on that and I made a Tuesday tutorial to come out for Father's Day but I scheduled it for the Tuesday immediately after Father's Day and you know what I wasn't gonna post it and then I just decided you know what you guys haven't seen tutorials in so long because I've been like wanting to make them perfect and all these different things and it's just craziness so you guys have been here because of me for me for a long time and instead of trying to make things perfectly perfect which they're not right now I'm just showing you real life and this is what it is. So here is the Father's Day cards from 2014 that I did that hopefully you guys will still get inspiration from because you guys can still use the principles and the concepts of these cards for everyday card making. So I hope you enjoy them. I hope you enjoy what's coming with Above Ruby Studio and by Megan Elizabeth and uh, stay tuned and I'll see you guys really, really soon. Enjoy the moments. Hey everyone, it's Megan Elizabeth with AboveRubyStudio.com. Thanks for joining me for another Tuesday tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be about Father's Day, doing a quick little Father's Day card for the upcoming holiday to celebrate dads all across America and um, the men in our lives that mean something. So I thought I was would show you um, kind of a simple card to put together with a little gift that goes with it. The main um, things that I'm going to be using is the My Crush Best Day Ever assortment um, pack from Close to My Heart. And this is actually like a little assortment pack of stickers and alpha stickers and then all different size cards and little like pieces and little pouches and things that go together. And I thought it would make a really cute card and a, and a cute little place to store a little gift, like a little keychain. Um, this is a little metal stamped washer that has um, my son's name on it. And I thought it would be really, really cute to uh, be a part of a, a dad's day gift kind of thing. So um, there's all kinds of really cool things in here. There's 26 pieces in all and that's like individual sheets but there's like these are individual stickers that come on here and it's just really great to actually stick inside your little um crush books which i i just love like i love the close to my heart version of these and um be, been filling in some little things but i just love the pages and um how it all just kind of fits together and of course me with the chevron thing that's like totally totally me so anyway um, there was also a dad's um, Perfect Fit Dad holiday stamp set with Close to My Heart as well. And I got it because of the mustache because I use that for like everything. Um, but I thought I could use the world's greatest dad. And there's one for grandpa and girler and golfer and like some other different things as well. And then you can actually cut out these different shapes from the Artiste Cricut cartridge, which is my favorite of all Cricut cartridges across the board. And it is my favorite of the Close to My Heart ones, but I just adore those Cricut cartridges. Um, I also did want to mention really quick that for June, the Stamp of the Month kit is the Kaboom kit, and or uh, set rather. And I really like the one that says You're the Bomb, and I thought that could be kind of cute for a Father's Day card as well. But you can see it's very like 4th of July kind of themed with the Let's Celebrate and there's the fireworks. And I find that firework stamps are actually kind of hard to find. 
I love this retro party and then this admit one a real jubilee and I'm actually going to be using this TNT for the upcoming tip and trick videos that I'm going to be doing again with AboveRubyStudio.com. So you're going to want to keep an eye out for that. But this is available only in June for $5 with a qualifying purchase. Or you can just purchase it by itself either way. Um, but it's a really good deal and I love these. The, and the one coming for July... I kind of want to show you now because I'm super excited about it. My two favorites, like I really like this one, but it is a little bit more like theme theme. But my two absolute favorites from this year's or this period's stamp of the month was February and the one coming in July, which is an alpha set that you're not going to want to miss out on. And the thing about these is if you have any interest at all in them, jump on them because once they're gone, they're gone. Like February, I'm going to still be doing videos with and you're not going to be able to get it later. You know, once February is gone, it's gone for good. So if you see that you like one of these sets when it's the stamp of the month, jump on it so you don't miss out. Anyway, back to the card. I thought it would be really cute. This is a piece of the um, assortment collection and I thought it'd be cute to actually hand write in a little sentiment like best dad ever or happy father's day and I'm not sure how I'm going to do it but I'm going to like do it in the crossword puzzle you know you can fill in your own crosswords and then this is one of the little pouches it says royal keepsakes um, uncommonly good only the best will do and then there's this one that it says like read this you can put a little note inside of it and I wasn't exactly sure how it's gonna all play out yet but I just loved like the colors and you know the chevron with the craft paper and then I also have some hemp all right enough chatting I've been rambling it's actually four o'clock in the morning and the kids are asleep and I haven't been able to whatever get a whole lot of sleep myself so I thought hey let's go film a tutorial <laughs> The best distraction is crafting. So I'm going to make a standard A2 size card. And let's see. <clears throat> Use my score buddy. For this. And what I was thinking of doing is I'm going to have to like cut this down somehow. I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it yet. I might just round it, to be completely honest with you. Um, or maybe I'll just cut it off the edges. Hmm. That's entirely possible. And even though this is best day ever, I love the colors on this, so I really want to use that as an accent. So what I'm actually going to do is cut this down. And I just want to have enough that I can stick out of either side of the card. I don't need, yeah. So we're just going to, let's see, slice this down just a little bit further. And then I have a little bit extra to use. <clears throat> and I'm going to grab a pen. I have a fun like blue. Uh, I think this blue will work. And actually, since I'm cutting off this edge, yeah, that's too teal. I need like a true blue. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. Oops. And there goes the camera tilting over on me again. So we're just going to fill in like the crossword with different words like happy All right, Papa Dad Best. I'm just going to grab my adhesive. I'm 
that's going to go on the front. And then just where it overhangs, I'm just going to cut right along the edge of the card. So it just fits on there. And then I'll take my little accent colors. And I'm going to go against the edge. And that will kind of complete it so it doesn't look like such a harsh like cutoff line. It'll kind of tie it together. Where it is cut off. edge to edge. We're going to grab a white gel pen and do just a little bit of like faux stitching. I haven't done that in a while actually. The faux stitch look with the white. I really like the white with the blue and with um, craft cardstock. That's like my favorite combo. So get those faux stitch lines on there. And then what we're gonna do with this is actually place the little um, keepsake inside. So you could make a really cute little keychain, or you can do a whole bunch of different things. And this is actually really kind of small for this, but I think it's a really cute little, um, you know, way to kind of put in a little gift inside the card as well. And what I was thinking was kind of going over on this side with it. And what I'm gonna do I'm going to just take a little bit of adhesive on the side here. And then I'm going to grab <clears throat> my two-way um, glue pen, my squeeze and roll. And I'm actually going to use this as my enclosure, but I'm going to wait for it to dry. When you use a squeeze and roll pen, um, if you haven't seen one of these before, um, or the Zig two-way rather, two-in-one pen, when you apply it and it is blue and wet um, it and you then adhere it to something, it's a permanent bond, permanent hold. If you wait for it to dry clear, which it's getting close to, and you adhere it to something, it's a temporary hold. So it makes it like a really easy, reopenable um, little um, envelope there. I really like using it on actually all of my envelopes that I make. So we're going to just wait for that to kind of dry clear. Then I'm going to grab my, whoa, I have all my little pieces that I cut out from this before. I have a bunch of mustaches. You can see, you can just cut out the, cut out the mustaches to size and then the size is right on there and then you can stamp on them or do all kinds of other fun things. Um, what I'm going to use is this World's Greatest and of course I'm going to use the Dad. Block. I'm actually going to stamp them separately. Alright, so that'll be ready. The little gift is inside there. And I'm actually going to do this on the back of the card. The color that coordinates along with this is called Outdoor Denim. So I'm just going to open that up. line up the dad to fit right inside there, right on there, and then I'm just going to write the, so it says made for the world's greatest dad. Pretty simple, pretty easy, and 
the card comes together, you know, really, really quickly. And you could stamp this on the outside, but I just really like the idea of taking like a crossword kind of puzzle theme and turning it into that Father's Day card. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tuesday tutorial all about dads. Have an awesome, awesome day. Enjoy the moments and make sure that you give your dad and that special man in your life a little bit of extra love this coming Father's Day. Enjoy the moments. I to come at you with another Father's Day card using the other half of the craft card stock. I am just going to grab my score buddy and we're gonna use just a few more close to my heart goodies to make this card for a grandpa. And I just thought we would have a little bit of fun doing this in a really easy, easy way. I'm going to take my hemp and let's see here. Where does it end? And I'm actually going to start with my hemp. And I'm going to just wrap it around this card several times in just a back and forth kind of pattern. I wanted to get the um, like string all in place first to just see kind of how much room I would have. I'm taking the grandpa stamp from the Perfect Fit Dad stamp set, outdoor denim because I'm going to make the cards kind of coordinate, and we're going to take this and I'm actually going to slide this over. I should have, I probably should have stamped it first. I want to stamp this down in the corner, so I'm going to do grandpa just like that. And then from the June stamp of the month set, which is really very 4th of July theme and a lot of fun, very great for summer. I love this party one. This one still gets me. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna use that for. Um, I wanna use the Year of the Bomb though for the grandpa. Um, and that's gonna go on the inside of the card. And sometimes I stamp on the inside of cards, sometimes I don't, but I'm making it really simple on the outside with a Yor de Bomb right in the middle on the inside. I'm going to accentuate it with just a little bit of white gel pen and I'm actually going with the um, shape and pattern here. So I really like to make cards that are simple. Um, but are meaningful, especially to dads and grandpas. So I'm actually going to do a little bit of um, odd number dots along the bottom here. I'm going to do seven right along there. And then I'm actually going to go up this side with a dash line. I'm actually going to grab one more stamp set to complete this card off because I actually think it would be <laughs> looking at it a little bit more. I have the um, Charming Chevron stamp set, which is adorable. And there's this really cute little Chevron polka dot, or not Chevron, polka dot. Yeah, polka dot Chevron little arrow looking thing. Anyway, I think it's cute. And I'm going to use it... on the side of the card. And I'm going to keep with the outdoor denim theme, color scheme. And let's see. And this one's actually going to go off the top of the card a little, but that's okay. spread our hemp or twine right on back out 
and really that came together in just a matter of a few minutes and it's just really simple and cute and a great card to give to grandpa for Father's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed today's Tuesday tutorial. The other card that we made is also using all kinds of really good cute goodies from Close to My Heart as well for Dad, so you can check that out at aboverbeastudio.com. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy the moments, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.